80 year old Muhammad Abdullahi Sharif came from Kenya uh, with a heart stroke before, five years back, and uh, he had a severe pumping dysfunction of the heart, which was diagnosed five years back. And due to his pumping dysfunction, so as he cannot tolerate surgery, he was advised on medical therapy, so he's taken medication since five years. But now he came for uh, uh, a shoulder surgery for this hospital. Uh, before surgery, we generally evaluate for uh, heart condition. So when we evaluated for heart condition, we had a old stroke evidence as well as uh, severe pumping dysfunction. So we thought uh, uh, we have to treat uh, cardiac ailment before uh, sending him for surgery. So we decided to go ahead with coronary angiogram. So we did coronary angiogram. So surprisingly, it showed uh, total occlusion of one uh, vessel and 90% uh, occlusion of uh, other main vessels supplying heart. So with a severe uh, bony deposition over the blood vessel. So in that situation, so, uh, we discussed about both bypass surgery and versus uh, percutaneous uh, coronary intervention. So as, he's, as his age is beyond 80 years, so we thought and his, uh, he had a severe pumping dysfunction. So surgery is not a right option uh, at this age uh, with that LV dysfunction. So we thought we'll go ahead with the uh, percutaneous intervention. Uh, but issues in percutaneous intervention is one is uh, a chronic total occlusion uh, in a vessel. And second is uh, severe calcification, that is bony deposition in the blood vessel. So, uh, so uh, for this bony deposition, we want to do a rotablation. So, which is generally uh, contraindicated in patients with a severe uh, pumping dysfunction. But as we have no other option, so we opted for uh, uh, rota ablation of uh, uh, calcified vessel and uh, uh, opening a chronic totally occluded vessel. So in procession, uh, first we opened a, a chronically occluded blood vessel, that is left circumflex. Uh, and after that, uh, we did a rota ablation to left anterior descending artery. After rota ablation, so we uh, kept two strands, uh, one in uh, left anterior descending artery and other in uh, left circumflex artery. And we got a good result and he's improving over a period of last uh, six weeks and his pumping also improved more than 10%, uh, is uh, doing well. Okay.